Hello everyone, I am Kay and you are watching me play Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom today and I'm right back at my friend Niall's place. Oh, I want to call him Nail, right? I'm right back at my friend Nail's place. So, hey Nail, how's it going? Hey. Get back, eh? How'd it go with old Poogie? Hmm. Um, well, we didn't quite manage to get your forest back yet. But we did find out the game is rigged all the way to the top. James. I knew it, the crafty re roasters. Now, all we need to do is get some proof that there's funny business afoot with Lady Luck as well. Do I just give. <laughs> do I just give old accents? Like <laughs> I don't know. You haven't noticed people from Gopar doing anything strange in the woods lately, have you? Like, I don't know, running around, masturbating furiously. <laughs> Stuff like that? Well, they were up to something ever toward the old woods there, but to be honest, there were so many of the beggars traipsing in and out, I couldn't keep track of it all. Maybe that's where they're making the dice. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Hold your horses, lady. You'll not be getting anywhere near the old woods unless you can cast quicken growth. What's that? Dispel, you great bampered. You never heard of it? Ech, kids these days. Here, I'll teach it to you. Hey, you know what? In the first game, there was literally only one person who could cast a spell. <laughs> so whatever. And what kind of spell is it exactly? Can you not figure it out from the name? It makes plants grow fast. Cast a wee beauty on a beauty on a teeny tiny seed, and it'll be a tree as tall as a house before you can blink. A path's a pain to get through down that way. If you sling that spell at a few toadstools, you'll find the going a good bit easier. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Twigwig. <laughs> Twig Thank, Thank you so much, Nail. Right, oh, looks like we're off to the old woods. I wouldn't have sound so pleased about it if I were you. Once you say well, that wife's been a right pain in the neck lately. Get it, got it. Stab the monsters in the neck. I can do that. Head to the old woods, steep in the forest of Nail. I know his name is not Nail. That's what I'm calling him. So that's his name now. So shut up. Here goes nothing. Here goes everything. Ow. What doesn't go is stop fucking hitting me. Grim Chilla Clasher, oh my god. What the? What are you? I can't read your name. What is it? Can you. Stop for just a second. Tempest Incarnate. Buddy, you're on thin ice here. Can you. Okay. You're gonna get a fucking fire spell, I don't care. Well, that was harder than <laughs> it should have been. Also, not the way. That's probably going to be a theme around here that I'm just not going the right way. Became soaked. Oh, that's apparently What's also a guys? thing. Hello, mum shroom. Take all of my ouch. You taking all my out? You better be taking all my out. Ow! Uh, stop it! Okay, let me see. That's a fireball spell. That should... ...work wonders against this guy, actually. And that is all these guys wanted to throw against me. Okay. Bunch of moonbeam mushrooms. Hmm. You cast a quicken growth spell. Gosh, Gosh they got bigger just like that. <laughs> it's almost like... Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's almost like a penis. It got bigger just like that. 
I mean, I was just rubbing it a little bit, and then it just grew. And I was rubbing it some more, and then it suddenly spit at me. I mean, what a fucking jerk, am I right? <laughs> oh, man, I'm feeling dirty today. Mock toadstool. Go! Go away! I cannot ignore a goo in need. Oh, wait, I'm actually in need here, I feel like. Boom! I could actually use some health. What about you guys? You cool? I feel like you're cool. Yeah, you look fine. Victory! A pebble. Yep, definitely what I need. And more mushrooms to grow. Uh, grow <laughs> growing mushrooms is definitely euphemism here. I know what growing mushrooms ne mean. I also know about the dreaded mushroom tip. <laughs> ah, thanks for the mushroom tip. <laughs> Five pieces of lump and lumber. Isn't it enough to build something? Like, I don't know, a door? Do we really need the entire forest? This is not where I need to be. Okay, I thought it was going to be... A punishing Wolfram sword. I want that. That sounds awesome! Let's see, Cutlass... Oh yeah. That is... This is a good one. Maybe I shouldn't hog all the good weapons for Evan and just leave Roland with the fucking leftovers. <laughs> Stonewashed cloth. Okay, why is that in the middle of a tree? You know what? Actually, no. Nah. Let me just not question it at all. If I was going to question everything in this game, I would be... Not doing anything besides that. Ooh, a glowing sorceress scepter. But oh, that's nice of you f welcoming me all of a sudden, just like that. By the way, is the king ma maker dude is is he in my party or? No, he, he's just there. It's cool, I guess. Okay, that's an incense, but no, a sixth sensor. Excuse me. Oldwood's trapdoor. No, do not save. I like living dangerously. <laughs> I'm not gonna save before a before an obvious boss fight. Wow. Wow, they've been busy. Yeah, they were building one house. Mm. So this is where they're making the trick dice. How shall we do this? Charge in shouting our heads off... Well, obviously. No. Sounds like the best plan for me. No, we can't draw attention to ourselves. We need to slip in undetected and find out what they're doing. Hide yourself, some swabs are coming. <sighs> Look at those cute little doggy guys. Uh, why, do, why did they have to build it so far away? Huh. A fool. Any closer than the people of the city would surely discover it. <laughs> so we were right. They're from Coldpaw. F Goldpaw, not Coldpaw. They must be. <laughs> they arrive a mighty fine idea all of a sudden. You know, I think I might be thinking what you're thinking. We should have brunch. God, I'm so fucking hungry right now. I could eat a horse. Wait, that's not what you're thinking, right? Huh? Beating them up, stealing their clothes, obviously. I was gonna wear them. I mean, it looks like they would... How does that fit Evan? 
guess I should have expected as much from a pair of sky pirates. Are you sure this will work? Only one way to find out, lad. Well, keep watch out here. Off you go and sneak into that there dice factory. Just don't be too long, all right? What, are you going to miss me, girl? Guess we don't have much choice. Come on. She's gonna miss me, I know it. Tell me and Batu stay behind to keep watch. Okay. Don't need them anyway, so... Fuck those two, am I right? <laughs> Oh, hello. You know, the fact that we don't look like dogs should raise some suspicions, but... <sighs> Phew, I was sure he was going to sue through our disguise. Well, he didn't. Looks like this might just work. Alright. Alright, we need at least two forms of proof. The first is something tying Pugnacious directly to the deception. Some kind of documentary evidence would be ideal. The next is evidence of how they are manipulating the dice. My guess is they are not using magic. Oh. Really? But how else could it be done? <laughs> oh, there are ways. We have a few different techniques for manipulating things from a distance where I'm from. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody here has come up with something similar. Alright, All right, let's find the proof! Let's do it. These disguises should help us get close to the people who work here. Maybe we can pick up some clues. Man, I sure hope the proof is in the pudding, because holy fuck, I want some pudding right now. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey there. You there, have you seen my blueprints? Huh? You don't even know what blueprints are? Oh, forgive me. I should have taken better care of them. What are blueprints? Uh. There, all the dice meet the required standard. And that is this week's quota met. So now it's time to relax. Arf, arf. <laughs> Hello. Our girl paw has long been famous for its tricks and contraptions, you know. It is our job to take all this knowledge and use it to create ever more exciting dice. And only we high officials of the realm are permitted the privilege of working with them. Such an honor. Such a great honor. You must excuse me, I'm rather busy at the moment. I must assemble all the necessary documents in order to process the factory accounts. <sighs> Sometimes I regret choosing to work in the accounting department. Constantly hounded by everybody and never a word of thanks. <laughs> hounded. I, I get it. Wait, it wasn't a joke? Oh. Hmm? This? Oh. Uh, it's a proposal suggesting a few improvements to our basic dice yeah. design. We can't go on making the same old thing forever, after all. We should be seeking out new ideas all the while. Oh cool, then let me take a look at that. A deep, close look. There's plenty of notes on ordering materials and so on, but none of it proves that Pugnacious has done anything wrong. Okay. It's a huge pile of trick dice for use in the casino. They don't seem to have anything t to do with Lady Lux die, though. You sure? When I mean, they're tiny, so... <laughs> It's like a tool that's used by the workers here. It doesn't look especially suspicious. Ooh, a set of signed instructions. Oh. Look at this, it was in the drawer. That's Pugnacious signature at the bottom. Uh -huh. Looks like instructions on what he wants them to build. I'm guessing these were supposed to be destroyed. Luckily for us, somebody didn't do their job. Well, that's certainly undeniable proof. Wonderful! Indeed it is. So now we just need one more piece. We still need one more piece of proof. The device for manipulating Lady Lux dice that you were talking about? Yeah, there must be a prototype or a spare somewhere around here. Let's ask around. Huh? Okay, no. I guess I don't have to ask around here. Maybe on the other side? Whee! I love to jump! <laughs> I'm guessing it's like one piece of evidence in this room and one in the other. So? Huh? Where's the spare control unit? I'm certain that I left it here on the table. I'm going to assume I didn't ask him, but he asked me. Looks like some kind of control unit, but there's no way you'll be able to sneak it out from under that worker's nose. There might be another one lying around somewhere, though. Mm, well, I wonder where it is. Oh. 
a remote device. Oh. Roland, look! This must be it, and based on all this stuff, it looks like what I thought. A remote control for Lady Luck's dice. It's just like you s it's just like you said. <laughs> Lucky guess. Anyway, Pugnacious must have one of these. So, this is how he keeps the taxes so high? And how he stole Nails Forest from him? It sure seems that way, and it's also how we are going to make him pay. That's everything we need. Come on, let's get out of here. We're going to raise some suspicion on the way out, right? Well... Let's see. Can't save, that's why I'm continuing. <laughs> Unauthorized intruders detected. Initiating attack sequence. Oh my goodness! Tony Batu! I knew there was going to be a boss here. <laughs> Sorry, it looks like we got rumbled. What's this horrible thing doing here, anyway? I don't like our chances, girlie. Ah, they're trapped. Come on. Then we have to help them. Yes, we should also get destroyed by this thing. What do you think this is? It's a fucking guard. It's all there is to it. Really, it's just a guard. And... Mossy Monument, the architectural monstrosity. It assumes that we are his enemies. Oh, he's level 21. That is probably not good. Ow. Uh. Okay, let's... Dude. I don't even know. I, I'm honestly fucked up right now because I do not remember the fucking controls. Come on! Do this! No, not that. That's not what you're supposed to do. Come on, I know I can beat you! Come on! I literally just arrived and you were like, eh, no, let's just not do that. Okay, and that just didn't hit. Cool. Fucking goddamn bullshit. <sighs> there we go, we almost have him. Sort of. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna stay away from him right now, I don't care. Oh, 500. Ooh, he, uh, he did the fall down thing. <sighs> yes, I was just going to say I probably literally just need one more hit. <laughs> they thought my goose was cooked there for a second. Looks like the people in the factory didn't notice the racket either. We are lucky there. Well, did you find your precious proof? Pre precious? Yes, we found the device Pugnacious uses to control the dice movement. <laughs> oh, that's the stuff, lad. Now we can hang the swinging dog out dry. We sure can. With this thing to help us, we'll be able to expose him for the fraud he is. Evan, I need you to be sure you're okay with what we're about to do. We'll be interfering directly in another country's affairs. If this doesn't go well for us, things could get ugly. And if they go really badly, you could be making an enemy of an entire nation. Are you willing to take that risk? Stealing from one's own people is unforgivable. We cannot stand by and let that happen. We have to give the citizens of Goldport our country back. That's the stuff, man! That's the spirit, Evan lad. Yeah! Yeah, I knew you wouldn't let him walk all over them. Oi. You grew more kingly by the day, your majesty. Uh -huh. 
You really are starting to sound like a king, you know that? All right. Our leader has set out his policy. And now it's time to implement it. All right. We will do that. On the next episode, I got a watery barrage bow. Like I said, we're going to do that on the next episode. If you like this one, well, go ahead and leave a like and a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, leave a dislike and tell me what I can do better. And if you want to see more, well, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.